Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. Outside on a beautiful day in Marin County, warm and sunny. So we're looking at two buckets that are being aerated by a simple air stone and a pump attached with a outdoor safe uh, water pump. All super simple stuff to get anywhere. You can get a plastic tub, uh, you get the drill. Anyway, these are for Daphnia cultures. Daphnia are mini crustaceans, excuse me, that fish keepers use to feed their fish. I've been uh, aerating uh, distilled water. Basically, it's just tap water that's been dechlorinated by natural means. In other words, I didn't use chemicals. I just let it sit out here with the bubbler for days and days. It gets a little green. I threw a few pond snails in there and that's it. And then I've got the same setup, but it's in the shade, so the temperature will be a little less, which may or may not be a good thing, and the green water production should be a little less as well. All of these buckets uh, have been awaiting what I got today, which is new cultures of Daphnia, and you can see them all. Isn't that intense? Those are all little micro crustaceans in this culture, and I'll talk more about where I got it, are also scuds, which are another form of crustacean. That uh, big one there is a scud, and they will eat the detritus uh, from the Daphnia, or at least help clean up. And then inside here, there'll also be seed shrimp, as well as mosquito larva. I'll try to find one of those because there's one, that black thing that was moving along. Anyway, I've got four bags here. They originally were two bags. I got a bag for 10 bucks uh, and another one for the same price. And I probably could have got them cheaper, but I was doing the man a solid in these tough times. Uh, the man is Carlos and he's at Backyard Aquatics and has a Facebook page. And he's got tubs of Daphnia culture, and he's about 15 miles from me, uh, just a ways from the Sonoma Raceway. And so uh, I urge you to go find his Facebook page if you want Daphnia, and you're in the Marin, Sonoma, Napa area. So these guys will reproduce and last me the summer, and I just net them out with a brine shrimp net and I always keep more than one culture at any given time because they are prone to crashing. A crash is where you wake up in the morning and you don't see any movement and just a lot of, a lot of still creatures at the bottom and basically that's a bust. It does happen, it's inexplicable, it's just one of those things. So the remedy is not to uh, freak out or try to solve the problem, but rather just have multiple cultures on hand. Plus, uh, when the temperature gets way too extreme, hot or cold, you could lose your fish that way. So what I'm gonna do to, or excuse me, lose your crustaceans that way, your daphnia, your scuds, and your other organisms. I put a few in this one. I might bring this little container inside and either keep it on a windowsill, uh, or I'll just feed these guys straight up into the tanks. Now you could see the very small ones, the juveniles, the adults, uh, and intermingled in there are other creatures, as I said, scuds, uh, probably moano, little seed shrimp, and other larvae, all awesome food for your fish, every single thing. Mosquito larvae, if you feed them while they're larval, um, you're not promoting mosquitoes or anything like that. I'm gonna find a couple of those because I see them with my naked eye, uh, just in case some of you are unfamiliar. There's one, they're called wigglers and now you see why. So what I'll do is I'll take each bag and I'll clip it to the side of each of these buckets like this and basically I'll temperature acclimate and I maybe will do a little water acclimation just like you would any fish you get and then I'll release them into these buckets and then every 48 hours I'll feed them 
diluted spirulina flakes and maybe some oat bran flour and or cooking yeast, just little bits of it. Uh, but mostly I rely on spirulina because it doesn't foul the water as much. It's closer to green water, which is ideal. So if you can make green water, and some people do like Carlos, then that's the way to go. But uh, he also, when I saved it, he throws in his uh, scraps from dinner salad pieces. But he has huge tubs. If I did that, I would probably get foul water right away. And so... Um, that's it. I should have my summer culture intact and uh, have this awesome alternate high protein live food to feed all of my fish from babies on up because of the different sizes you saw. And it's also fun to do and I'm excited about it. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up. Otherwise, always keep your hands in the tank or the tub, as the case may be. Ciao for now.